Hey, this is Nerdy Detective Account, and I'm going to go over issue two of Marvel's Alien. I'll first go over the, with the cover, and I do like the cover. I like how you have the Xenomorph here looking at him, looking like it's ready to attack him while he's in his stasis pod. The tail here. It does really closely resemble the original cover here. Just that the tongue is actually stiff and not a little bit looser here. Hmm. The comment begins on a very sad part. A grandpa is trying to comfort his granddaughter and well, things do not go well. <laughs> we later head towards back to Gabe pretty much in retirement and saying he's hating it. He learns what his son did and that he used his <clears throat> and that his son Daniel used his security pass to get in. So Gabe is now looking bad. He makes a deal with Wailing Yutani to go up and find the Alpha and I can get genetic material from there, hoping that it is fine so they can then continue their work. And he made sure that he wants immunity for his son in writing when it's a, if he gets everything, but only if he gets the proper material. He is then sent up with two young space marines that he didn't want. He wanted five synthetics, but realized it was cheaper just to bring up the two young marines. And they're costing him for being old. You know, they're just saying, hey, you're not skinny enough to be a scientist and you're not young enough to be a marine, you know, a normal marine. So why are you on the ship, Grandpa? Stuff like that. I don't really get it. Maybe in this picture here, he looks a little bit older, but when you see him earlier here, he's not too old when you see him early on. Like maybe what? Close to maybe early 50s, maybe? Unless he keeps himself really well. Because he doesn't have any gray hair. So I'm just trying to figure it out what we keep calling him close to retirement. Yeah, he was forced to retire, but nothing physically indicates that he was in, like, frail or incapable of doing his job. All we know, he has cancer. And so they're trying to get something out of him, and he just has a flashback to when he was a younger Marine 20 years ago. So this is either when he's, I guess, in 20s or 30s, maybe. He might be in his 40s. He's supposed to be 40s here, I guess. He is supposed to be close to retirement, but it just doesn't make much sense. And when they're going on a trip. But he gets out of it and pretty much asks if the Marines were caught up. They state, no, they just thought it was a normal bug hunt. And he thinks they're idiots, you know, like, how, it was just video. So he was just saying that it was Xenomorphs, but he had to tell them that it was, that they were called Xenomorphs. I can't remember if this is actually the first time that they've ever actually called them xenomorphs. Let's see, you know, and face huggers, see? Xenomorphs. But that doesn't really make much sense to me, so it just seems like xenomorph is just another way of saying alien or unknown form. 
So it just seems weird that if they didn't know what they were called and yet they said it was a normal bug hunt, then bug hunts must mean something else in the series. Because I remember in Aliens that they did call them a bug hunt when they were going out trying to find them. So either there are other alien species out in here that the humans have met that I don't know that we've met. The only ones I can think of are the Yauchas, which are the Predators franchise. One from a one-time alien from the one-shot comic Aliens Earth Angel, where it crash lands in the 50s. And the Engineers. You know, the elephant trunk faced looking aliens from the first film what well, it looked like and then were actually like giant pale people and the Prometheus that's what the film was yeah Prometheus I did not really like Prometheus all that much so I don't have all the best memory of it but he's just going down like what you need to do and everything so, they get attacked, and well, one Marine goes off on his own chasing a facehugger trying to kill it, and he gets killed himself. His rib is ripped out, and okay, this is just plain weird here with this. He is killed, but... Look at the Xenomorph. Is this the Alpha? You know, embryo that they were looking for? Because it looks way too big to be a normal Xenomorph that came from a human. Also, I know that they're supposed to have, you know, mechanical parts too, with the tubes and stuff, but I think the I can't remember ever seeing like this much tubing on the sides of their heads. It must be just extra detail, but look at his hand. Look at the Xenomorph's hand. It's as big as this guy's chest. Is this a regular Xenomorph that's going towards Praetorian, I guess? Because it's not big enough to be a queen, because a queen would be even bigger. But it doesn't have, like, the side frills that a Praetorian would have in the most case. So, I think it, this one looks like the size of a Pred Alien, I guess. Just that its hands are bigger than what a Pred Alien would usually have. So, it just seems weird. And that's... Probably my biggest issue with this comic here is this alien is like the xenomorph. I'm like, wait, is this a special type? What is going on with it? But I guess that's meant to be solved in the third issue, Reunion. This comic isn't bad. It's continuing the story. We're getting more backstory on Gabriel. We're getting more of what was going on there. They were doing experiments on the Xenomorph, so maybe that's just a experiment that went weird, changing its DNA or something, which is kind of weird. I think the only time that they've done that was like once or twice, I believe. Once was when they made a emperor or king Xenomorph that had fought with a queen and then when they made a weird Yaucha human xenomorph hybrid that was had was white and they could talk, I believe. I'm trying to remember. I I only had one of these comics. I do have a lot of you know, alien comics here, but I'm trying to remember the top of my head all the stuff. It's a little bit hard. 
And I don't think I have the one where they actually have, they're fighting the white xenomorphs, hybrid things. I think the issue I have with this storyline, he said it's just too basic. Most of the aliens line with the comics usually do something weird. Heck, in the first comic run, which was six, six issues, it had the xenomorphs' eggs already being put onto Earth, a cult being formed around the six, the existence of the xenomorphs, them meeting the engineer, you know, pilot alien species and having like family problems between Hicks and Newt. If you bought the trade version, they changed the name of Hicks and Newt because well the comics were originally made before Alien 3 and when Alien 3 occurred, Hicks and Newt were dead. So they had to retcon that to fix it. But they just done a lot with the alien franchise that's either weird, like with the like alien home world, the alien versus predator, which was the first done in comics, and many other things. So they were always doing something new. You know, whether like there's now psychic abilities that they added in, like due to weird experiments with you know. Queen's Jelly. So, they've just done a lot with with the franchise in the comic books, and this just feels rather bland, just like a normal story. If you've never read an Alien comic book or any of the Alien franchise, you know, outside of the movies, I'm pretty sure Marvel's Alien run might be a good start, but it just feels like a rather generic, boring story for those who have already read quite a few other of the Aliens franchise comics. Not bad, but it's just... I've seen so much more from the other stuff. Well, tell me what you thought of this comic book if you read it. I'm actually going to continue buying this. I'm actually looking forward to issue three. Issue one didn't really get me hyped for it because I think it was just too much family drama on the first issue. The family drama stuff and like the first run didn't appear until I think issue two or three. But I just simply thought uh, you know those were characters I already liked. These are characters that I don't know, and I'm supposed to care about the family drama because it's family drama, I guess. Nope. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day, and leave a comment down below what you thought.